Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Spacing Out. I'm Jason McClellan. And I'm Marina Ellsbury. Thanks for joining us. Let's get you caught up on some of the space and UFO stories that have made headlines recently. A video that was allegedly obtained from sources inside a Puerto Rican federal agency shows two UFOs over western Puerto Rico. The video was reportedly shot by an infrared camera aboard a Homeland Security helicopter in the Puerto Rican city of Aguadilla in the early morning hours of April 26, 2013. This video was uploaded to YouTube by Jose Martinez, a member of the Puerto Rican Research Group. He explains that the video was shot from a helicopter from Rafael Hernandez International Airport, which was formerly a United States Air Force Base called Ramey Air Force Base. This base was named after Brigadier General Howard Knox Ramey and not after General Roger Ramey as some believe. Roger Ramey is the infamous general who announced to the world that what was recovered in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947 was simply a weather balloon. Several federal agencies are currently housed at the Rafael Hernandez International Airport. According to the website Historias Ufológicas en Puerto Rico y el Exterior, in the video you can see how the object moves very quickly. In one part of the video you can see how the object is thrown into the sea at extreme speed and when it comes back out of the sea there are two objects on the screen. Researchers reportedly conferred with authorities from the Puerto Rican Joint Forces of Rapid Action, or FURA, a division of the State Police of Puerto Rico that coordinates operations between Puerto Rico police and the U.S. federal agencies. These authorities confirmed that the UFO video was taken by a camera aboard a Black Hawk helicopter. The website asserts that this proves that the federal agencies in Puerto Rico have knowledge of the presence of OVNIs extraterrestre and surveillance in the hottest areas of Puerto Rico are being monitored. When asked by YouTube viewers for more information about this video showing UFOs in Puerto Rico, Martinez responds by saying that in order to protect the identity of his federal agency sources at the airport, he cannot give more details. And that's unfortunate because more details here would be fantastic. It's understandable, though, mm -hmm. that uh, you know he can't betray his uh, secret sources there. But I gotta say, this is one of the more fascinating videos we've seen in a while. What do you think about it? Right. So you know, while watching it, um, there were a few moments where I could see where some might throw the bird comment out there right. because of it appears in a few spots that maybe there's some flapping of wings, but it does seem like. The, it, it's hard to know because without sources of like how fast the helicopter was going compared to the object, it's really hard to determine speed, but it appears to be moving extremely fast and it is pretty mysterious, I will say. And it's an infrared camera, so it's hard to, to really see what's going on and, and like the website asserts it crashing into the water, it's difficult to make out what's water and what isn't. Right. You know, hard, hard to determine that stuff, especially if you're not used to seeing footage on an infrared camera. Um, I do really like this because it comes, allegedly comes from an official source. Right. Um, and the, you know, that's a great place for, for a video to come from. And uh, I mean, we've seen other official videos from government bodies where there appear to be pretty remarkable things that turn out to be bugs. Right. We can eliminate that with this one, I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, it is a fascinating object that it seems to be high speed. I will point out that because it does happen at this airport where these federal agencies are housed and Homeland Security does Homeland Security surveillance in that area, it could potentially be a drone or something used for Homeland Security surveillance purposes. The thing that makes it really weird is if, in fact, it does crash into the sea and then come out and you see two objects. Yeah. That's really bizarre. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point, without any further information, and you know, what a great thing about South America is that we do see a lot of official government agencies investigating sightings, and you know, there's a lot more um, acceptance of right researching on an official level mm -hmm. and the belief of extraterrestrials and the fact that uh, their craft could be visiting Earth is a common place. They see things all the time. Um, so that makes this, this video very intriguing and um, unknown at this point. I agree. I really like this video. Um, so I think this was a, a really good sighting report from the past week. But and if you enjoyed today's show, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel so you know when we post new content. Thanks again for joining us today. I'm Maureen Ellsbury. And I'm Jason McClellan. We will see you in the future.